Keep your eye on number four, Tyrone Prothrow, who's set to return the kick along with DJ Hall. Prothrow, so dangerous every time he touches the ball, but if you can't gather it in, you can't run with it, so it's a touchback. One up and one down. Now they set with a 4-3, and Croyle on first down wants to throw a quick pitch near side and is caught at the 29-yard line. So Croyle comes out throwing, first on first down, picks up nine. The handoff, a broken tackle as Darby on second ever picks up the first along with three. You're going to see guys free in the backfield once in a while. Alabama's got to try and minimize those bad plays. Up the right side, good movement by the tied front line. Lined up near side as Coyle with the play action. Seven step drop, good protection, good arm, throws over the middle, and it's caught at the 39 yard line. Alabama doing a nice job mixing the run and the pass this time on the ground. Guess who? Close throw, breaks the tackle inside the 25 yard line to the 21. Big third down and four, crowd up on their feet. Seventh play of this drive that started at the 20-yard line. Croyle can talk and he can run at the 10, slices at the five. Brody Croyle, touchdown, Bama! Mitchell is the student and, of course, Spurrier is the teacher, the tutor. They fake the end round right up the middle as they challenge that very tough Alabama defense. Madison, Roman Harper, Pepra, and Castile. Third down and short, and the push should give Carolina the first down. Three wide receivers set, Bama showing blitz on the corner. Quick drop, quick throw, far side, and it's man covered, and it's caught. Great catch at the 44 by Sidney Rice. A pickup of 19, first down, South Carolina down by seven, the move in the football. Blake Mitchell again with pressure, sidearms. And the official will spot it complete at the 33 yard line. Second down and 10 at the 34. Blake Mitchell poised to this point early. Throws, oh, what a nice catch. Up on his pads. Ninth play of this drive. Handoff. Wallace. Driving inside the 10-yard line of the 6. And it started on their own 25-yard line. Again, oh, five wide receivers spread, and it's up for grabs near the goal line. Incomplete. Incomplete. McKinley, who just checked in, number 11, with the jump ball, but out of bounds. After review, there's video evidence that the player caught the ball one foot inbound. Therefore, the ball will be placed on the one-yard line. The tailback is the freshman, Mike Davis. The pitch to Davis. Lead blocker cuts inside. Touchdown, South Carolina. Bama spreads the field. They work the plate block down to three. Coyle looking at four wide receivers on his back foot. Throws complete at the 30 five-yard line from the eye second man through little give and go as Darby picks up big yards for a first down and for a Pontiac excitement update let's go back and here's Timmy B Tim Vandy one of those stories around college football off to a 3-0 start Bama still on the ground, up to around the 46-yard line. Jimmy Johns, the freshman, with the carry. A missed two-point conversion, the final 17-15 Georgia. Quick throw, far sideline, breaking a tackle. Keith Brown, 10-5, touchdown Alabama. He's playing good football. They had a chance to make a big play there. Low snap. They're going to kick it away from Prothrow. Waves for the fair catch and takes it at the 15-yard line. So far, special teams doing a nice job keeping Prothrow away from the football. Both of them had two ACL surgeries. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Big opener. Up the middle, Darby to the 23-yard line. In an exciting opening quarter.
A minute 17 left to play. Boyle under center on second down and short. And tackling has been a little problem here. And this is where it gets a little nutty for South Carolina. You see the people moving around. Only two down linemen up there. Procro, watch out at the 40, makes a cut. Still on his feet at the 50. Procro, 40. Procro at the 35. And ran out of bounds at the 34-yard line. Boyle, hand off, nothing fancy. A little stumble by Darby as he fights his way off right tackle to the 24-yard line. McLean and Castile, the two fullbacks in, and Castile gets the carry. Let's go back. Tim Brando with an update. Timmy. Good snap to hold, and the kick is away. Long enough, and good from 41. So Bama opens up a 10-point lead, 17-7 in Columbia. Let's see where he tries to aim this punt. We know it's going to be away from number four. High snap. Low line drive. Takes a bounce out of bounds at the 49. Second down from the 46. Pro throw was the man in motion. This time quick hitter. Darby bounces outside. First down and more at the 39-yard line. Well, you got to like Darby, who was a second-team All-SEC pick a year ago. Gave up 238 yards on the ground against the Bulldogs. Boyle in the pocket. It closes. He can run. Makes a nice cut back at the 30 and hook slides at the 21-yard line. 162 yards a day on the season. The average 136. We've yet to reach halftime. Boyle has picked up 27 yards. Got a little shovel as he pumped and then dumped it. Wow, D.J. Hall <laughs> was very alert. Jonathan Joseph, the left corner, wrapped him up. Brody made him pay for it. Seventh play of this drive. And they are marching as Darby bounces inside the 15. He's wrapped up at the 13-yard line. Both tight ends or fullbacks are in. McLean and Castile. Keeper, Troil, off the right tackle of Tatum. Got it easily. Well, Ezekiel might try to, but the ball popped out of bounds, so a field goal. And this will be from 29 yards, and it's up and true. So Alabama opens up now a 20-7 lead as we come back to Columbia. Boy, Urban Meyer's got the swamp stirred up, doesn't he? He does, for good reason. Mitchell steps and throws. Accepted. Simeon Castile dropped back, perfect coverage, and made the pick at the 46. They make you execute your offense at a very high level if you want to have any. They say, here's what we're going to do. Can you beat us? Up the middle. Big hitter, Garvey, who lowered and squared those pads. And they need to stop here on third down and 11. Boyle works a play clock to two. And off. How about that? And they get the stop. High, high hanger. Going to drop it about five yards deep and no chance for a return. But they're just not clicking on offense right now. And as a result, they're down 20 to 7. It could be more after this drive. Josh Brown just going to boot it, let it run. <laughs> Pro throw backs away, and it's a good punt inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. Coming up on a minute left in this opening half. Pro throw gets a carry. Look at that stop and go. Switches directions. One, two. That was a zigzag of about 10 yards. He picks up four. <laughs> and 84 on multiple occasions. It's packed today. And they sold a record number of season tickets this year of 62,000 and change. So the first half winding down and a lot of offense we saw. First half comes to an end with the score, Bama 20, South Carolina 7. We now send you to New York, and here's Tim Brando. Tim. Under center with the three wide receiver set. They swing it around, double reverse. That's something different. They've got a wall of blockers. Carlos Thomas tripped up. Lost it, picked up, lost. Who's got it?
it at the 45-yard line. South Carolina's got it. That brings up second down, 15, shotgun. Hefner steps up, fires in traffic, and the catch is pulled down at the 37-yard line. Carolina one for one on fourth down opportunities today. And Bobby Al Wallace in the backfield with Hefner. Alabama coming with the blitz. Well, they bring the pressure, and the redshirt freshman is down. Loose ball, and I believe Carolina covered up at the 48. There's that stand-up front line of South Carolina. It's all about gap control. They've had trouble with the gap. There's a big gap that opened up for Darby inside the 30-yard line down to the 29. Let's go back to New York, and here's Tim Brando. I think when you look back at it, he's excited to be playing this year. He's got the opportunity to make up for a lot of negative things. He's doing a pretty good job of it right now. Coffee past the 25, reaches out to the 24-yard line. I could see him doing it here, too, with the, with the lead they got to try and bury him, but I think they're going to probably run up the middle. Doyle, play action, throws, gets caught in the flat, and it's a first down for Leron McClain. Good hands. This guy is a bruiser. He expects a lot out of himself. It hasn't happened, but their whole defense doesn't have a whole lot to be excited about today. Jamie Christensen will try a 27-yard field goal, and from an angle from the left side is up, and it's good. Christensen, three for three today with his foot, 23-7 Bama. Blake Mitchell has returned at quarterback. Well, he is, I, I lost him for a minute. There were so many red jerseys. It was a sea of crimson tide. Well, I think Steve Spurrier is trying to see if this kid can, can show some fire, see if he can light a fire underneath him. And we'll see if Blake Mitchell can do that. From the shotgun on third down, four wide receivers, heavy pressure again. They lob it up and over the coverage, and it's caught for a first down at the 36-yard line. Ball only had a couple of small, very small hole to get that ball in there. Blake Mitchell did a good job. Five wide receivers for Spurrier this time. Blake with the quick hit to the far side. Again, is that ball loose? It is. Bama has it at the 39. We'll look at the time of possession, 25 over 14 with Duncan minutes. Alabama has been on the field, and that means a very tired Gamecock defense, but they continue to try to pursue on that throw from Brody Croyle. And what a win that was yeah. for LSU. Uplifted the spirits of a, of a whole region with a great, great victory over Arizona State. How about that spin? Darby is healthy to the 22-yard line, first down Bama. He went to the National Football League two years with the Redskins, was totally burned down after that experience, refueled and took this job, and there's a lot of excitement. Oh, wide open. Walking in for six is Darby. What a hole off the left side. That is just too easy. Third down to nine for South Carolina. Mitchell under center with four wide receivers. Steps up, throws a long ball. It is caught. First down at the 45, and Sidney Rice. And D.J. Hall is set to return back at the 10-yard line for Alabama. We'll get it off with one on the plate block. Dancing, dancing now. He poops, kicks it, and drops it inside the 20-yard line. It's on a roll inside the 10 and down to the 7-yard line. But in college, everybody can run down the field, so they're buying a little time, kicking the ball late, and, and being able to get down there and cover much better. Going back as Darby started up the middle, now cuts outside, and is taken down by a foot. And really didn't play the last two games. Still had still had great numbers. Second down for Crimson Tide. Darby a workhorse today. Nice move. Watch out at the 30. Tumbles to the 33-yard line. Jeremy Schatz back to punt. His first punt, 39 yards. He's not been busy today the way that offense has been rolling for the tie. Kenny McKinley breaks it. Has some room. McKinley and flags are down. Block in the back, number 56 on the receiving team. He'll be 10 yards from the spot of the foul. It is still a first down. And that's where we stand. Alabama 30, South Carolina 7. The Gamecocks have the football now. Trying to work it outside. Bobby Wallace, the freshman to the 29. And he's chopped down just short of the first down. He's not used to not getting his offense 
more opportunities to score points. Else it's three and out, and when you drop it on the turf, you don't get a lot of opportunities. Under heavy pressure, Mitchell did a nice job throwing that ball and connecting with Wallace, who works it up to the 40 for a first down. And D.J. Hall, number 22, back to receive. Boy, again, kicks kind of a sidewinder, but gets a big Carolina bounce to the 20-yard line. He has that kick down, does he not? John Parker Wilson, the freshman from Hoover, Alabama, checks in number 14. And on Brody Croyle, I don't think you can measure how well he played today by the numbers. He didn't get a chance to do a whole heck of a lot once this game got out of control. Time of possession telling the story, too. 30 minutes for Alabama. Look at that. Around the corner goes Glenn Coffey, and the freshman is tackled by the shoe tops at the 35-yard line. Cole Simpson saved the touchdown. Get the confidence in this offensive system so that if something does happen to Kenneth Darby, that these guys are ready to step up and play at that same level. Parker Wilson, deep ball. Man underneath, touchdown, Bama. It was Keith Brown for his second six of the day. And I'm talking wide open. Wide open. And a great throw by John Parker Wilson. Make no mistake about that. First and 10 at the 20 for South Carolina. Long day for Blake Mitchell. He'll throw to the flat. It's caught. Take this tournament. Good, good receiver. Timmy, thanks. Buckeyes with the big lead. Same here in Columbia, Alabama. On the road, however, leading by 30. Sidney Rice with another grab. First down, Gamecocks at the 33-yard line. It's going to take time, but as Dwayne Bol Ballin told us before the game, he still expects his team to win more than lose this year. Mitchell spun around. Oh, look at that. Oh, and he is hot at the 36-yard line. I'm sitting there thinking, I would rather not have that ball thrown to me. If I'm going to get hit like that, I'd rather have that ball get into the ground. Spurrier makes a change at quarterback. Hefner in. Tucks and runs on the keeper. Dancing his way for the first down to the 46-yard line. And you kind of expect it with Brody Croyle and Kenneth Garvey, but Keith Brown was a surprise today. Two touchdowns. A great day lifting this passing game to go along with an unbelievable running game today. Personal foul. Number 93 on the defense, four to the quarterback. 15 yards, first down. With all the miscues, I mean, it's been a fairly penalty-free time of day. Only four flags against South Carolina, but yet the fumble. There's really a constant problem. There's the throw to Carlos Thomas. And he's got a face mask. Yep, at the 24-yard line. It's a little face mask. Number two on the defense. Penalty's five yards. It will result in a first down. Second down six for South Carolina. They stretch it out. Nice little hole. Bobby Wall is still working hard. The freshman to the six-yard line. And today, they go to 3-0. They're showing they're learning how to win. That could spell trouble for the rest of the SEC. Mitchell to the end zone. The corner. Nice throw. Up and in for a touchdown. It goes to Rice. Thirty-seven to fourteen, and an onside kick, and it's recovered by Alabama at about the forty-nine. Do you remember what happened just prior, like a half a second or a millisecond before that that hit? Well, I remember making a good fake. I thought it was a good fake. There is a flag down off that punt as it bounds into the end zone. Legal formation, only six men on the kicking team. Tells his line, play, stand. Line drive, takes another big bounce. Well, he's got the, the nose roll down. <laughs> line drive, that ball hits and flips and then just rolls forward up to the 32-yard line. Well, and as we said, Steve Spurrier still feels like his team is going to win more games than they lose. That makes next week that much more important. Going to Troy, they got to come away with the win. I think he was thinking that maybe if his team played really well today, he might be able to steal one. And the confidence they're going to take from this ball game going into 
the next week, next week's game in Tuscaloosa against Arkansas is going to set up a big game at home in Tuscaloosa against Florida in a couple of weeks. So that'll be one worth watching, I guarantee. Under a minute to play, again, Coffee, the freshman from Fort Walton Beach, Florida, with the carry up to around the 45-yard line. 17-15 the final. And there's the final, could be the final play. And what's ahead? You just have to wonder what's ahead, what's ahead for Steve Spur. It could be an interesting practice on Monday. It will be an interesting practice. He'll make it interesting. And they'll come back. They're going to be a good football team before it's all said and done. So for Steve Berline, Dwayne Ballin, our CBS Sports crew, Craig Bowler, Jack Saints, so long from Columbia. The final score, Bama 37, South Carolina 14.